Okay guys, before we start this tutorial, I would like to ask you to check out this amazing montage. These are some way more views and likes, so please go there and like it, and also maybe subscribe to him. It's a good friend of mine and I never do this, like, but this really deserves more views. And if you also love Plot 4 and love old school, you should definitely check this out. So yeah, the link is in the description and on the screen, so uh, yeah, enjoy the tutorial and please watch this amazing montage and also don't forget to like it and maybe even favorite it. That's it. Thank you guys, bye. Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you some more syncing effects. If you missed the first episode where I explained some blur effects, then be sure to check that out because I cover some basics in there. Um, yeah, in this tutorial I will show you some scaling and um, flashes effects. Um, yeah, that you can combine these with all those blur effects I showed you and in the next episodes or tutorials I will cover more effects like maybe some blur just at the edges and um, yeah who knows maybe some nice twitch settings and what you can do with twitch and so on so let's say your um, clips already color corrected and it doesn't have to be color corrected you can do the color correction later but let's say it's already synced up and now you want to add effects to all those shots um, or not all those shots but some of those shots like you get the idea um, okay now for the flashes you can use a couple of effects for this you could also use magic bullet looks for yes yeah, you can do some really nice flashes with that um, but I won't cover that in this tutorial if you want me to do that in the next tutorial uh, just write in the comments um, okay this is just my color correction layer so for those effects you should add an adjustment layer so go to layer new adjustment layer and okay f the first thing you could y go to color correction curves Okay, you can use that for color, uh, for flashes. It's just one thing. So, so let's see where he shoots. I think right here or something. And then um, you just go there to that stopwatch to make, um, keyframe it. Then go forward like five frames or something. And now you can just drag this up to make everything a bit brighter. Or you could add some contrast for the flash. And you can also go into these colors like red, turn that up a bit. Like you don't have to do what I'm doing here. So I really it really depends on what you want. Like if you want like really purple or greenish or just like this, then yeah, all personal preference. So when you did that, um by the way you should go a bit more extreme with what you're doing so that you can see it later and then you go to um, your keyframes, press U for that uh, copy the first keyframe and go forward like 20-30 frames and uh, one second or to the next shot and it's like for how long you want the flash so let's say I want it to end here so I just paste that keyframe, the first keyframe so it's here's the flash that's like it's really bright and then it slowly fades out um so let me just preview that. Um yeah, as I said it's all personal preference and it depends on like also the song. If you have like some drums and stuff you can make some really fast flashes or something. Like okay, you don't see it that much here, so you should um definitely go there and turn that a bit more up or something. Um, but you can also, to make it look better, combine it, this with some blur effects and scaling and stuff that I will show you later. Okay, that's for curves. You could also use um, uh, effects, color correction, uh, exposure. You could also use levels. You can use pretty much everything like brightness and contrast. I'll just go with exposure here. So let's find the spot where he shoots again. Um, right there so let's make keyframe all of this here go forward like five frames and then you can bring the exposure up to make everything a bit more contrasty and brighter and you can also play around with these settings just how you like it you like this and then you uh, press U for the keyframes again select all these keyframes go forward a few frames or seconds and paste that again so that it slowly fades out again. So let me preview this again. 
yeah, as I said, combine this with some nice blur effects and scaling and it will look pretty nice. Also looks different like in if, if this would be already synced up, I would do it different than this, so yeah. Okay, now for the scaling. Um yeah, as I said, if you want me to make some uh like advanced flashes for magic bullet looks or something in the next episodes along with some tricks or settings uh, for syncing effects then write that in the comments and please don't forget to like the video okay now let's go for the scaling um, okay that's where you shot <clears throat> so go to your clip now if you have like a couple of clips you should pre-comp them and then do the scaling but um, yeah not for this and also you should um, add rotation to the same thing so let's keyframe the scale and the rotation at the spot where it shoots go forward a few frames and maybe bring the rotation to something like 5 whatever you want and the scale you can bring that up to 120, 150 whatever you prefer then go forward a few frames again or seconds and bring it back to 100 and bring the rotation down to uh, zero, and you can also select these keyframes um, and press F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease in and out. That will make it a bit smoother, but it depends on the song and yeah, like the editing style you you're making using whatever. So let's preview this. If you combine this with some flashes and um, blur effects and maybe in my next tutorial some tweaks that will look pretty nice so and the good thing with this you can just go there and copy and paste these effects like on the next shot I could just press control V and paste this again but now you could maybe go there to the rotation and uh, bring it to minus 5 instead of yeah just 5 and for the flashes you could just go there and copy these uh, two so yeah so it's a bit easier so um, yeah tell me if you have any other tutorial requests then write them in the comments and next time I can make some tricks or settings um, advanced flashes if you want to maybe some other stuff like I don't know what yet, but let's see. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and before you write your uh, other tutorial requests, please check out my tutorials playlist because I keep getting requests for stuff I already made, and that's pretty, pretty annoying. So, yeah, that's it. Like the video and bye. It would be awesome if you could pin me on your homepage because subboxes often fail for me and they can just click on my name to see all my recent activities and uploads. Please do it. Also, please follow me on Twitter, there I just post some random updates and it's the best way to contact me.